so we had uh, Toradex at Embedded World 2011. This is the most compact Tegra 2, uh, this basically a whole computer, or what is this? Exactly, yeah, it's a computer module, so we put the NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core Cortex A9 running at 1 GHz on an SOD form factor, like a memory module for your laptop. You have pretty much everything you need on the module, like on a netbook. So it's the Tegra 2 CPU, we have memory, we have flash, power controller, ethernet, and even touch and audio controller. And we have a whole family of compatible modules. I'll just give you a little wrap up here. That's a hardware development board. You stick one of those modules in, start it right up, and it puts you into Windows CE. That, what did you put in one? This That's one? a Colibri PXA270. We have PXA300, the entire family. And, and it's booted uh, up already. It's, it's already up. It takes like seven seconds to boot. And if we go over here, I can show you like a really nice uh, dual, uh, <laughs> dual screen demo. So that's right now uh, a little box. All computers in here. That's the box PC. So what is in here is actually what you can see. It's a Tegra 2. One. That's our Tegra 2 module again on a very simple, like small form factor I.O. board. GVI, uh, USB exactly. host. What is this I.O. board? Something you design or something? Yeah, that's that? just one of the standard boards we're having. It's just a simple board that brings out like the most necessary interfaces. It's a DVI, but be careful because we have we have DVI and the VGA signals on that. So with a splitter, as you can see back here, you have actually a two monitor system. So which one is running the DVI? Which one is this VGA? On the right side, we see a DVI in full HD 1080p. That's at, uh, actually the Avatar trailer movie running right now. And if you go over here on the left side, we have an uh, interactive interface with a uh, with a 3D monkey here. We can play with, and everything runs totally fluent. The and whole this is on the on the little desktop right that's, here. That's like that's little system. This is the Tegra 2. It's, it's nearly smaller than the actual DVI connector. Yeah, it's 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 really. I mean, if you look at it, that's that's it. So you pretty much just have a couple connectors, some power, audio, USB. And I mean, we're streaming all that content just from a USB stick. So all you need is a little USB host, put put your content on a stick, and you're good to go. And how much is it going to be? One sixty-nine dollars. The actual module is ninety-nine euros. Ninety-nine uh, euros for, for 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 that single module. For that single module, ninety-nine euros. Ninety-nine euros. You can since order when? it right now. Uh, since we launched it, actually, beginning of this year. So go to www.turdex.com. You find the web shop. You can order everything online. You're good to go. It comes preloaded with Windows CE. If you want to switch over to Linux, just load your Linux on it, and it's ready to go. Load any OS you want. You can load any OS you want. Uh, Linux will be available in the third quarter. At the moment, we have a Windows CE preloaded. You actually you were showing CE7. It's CE7 is actually running too. However, we don't have it at this particular demo because it was just announced two days ago. This right now is running uh, Windows CE6. So 99 euro here, and what, what about this other stuff around it? How much does that cost? Uh, the board itself, uh, if you just look at the baseboard, it's another like 120 bucks. So the whole system is, is around 200 euros. So why is this board uh, more expensive than that part? What is in here? Well, it, the more, it's more expensive because it's bigger. So the major cost on such a board is actually the PCB and the manufacturing. So because this is bigger and it has also bigger parts on it, it costs more than just a small board. And that's why we try to keep it small. Small means cheap for us. Why can something like this not run the whole computer by itself and not have something else? Well, the problem with such a small form factor board is actually how do you bring the connectors out. The connectors simply don't fit on an SOD module, so you will need a little I.O. board. So we with Toradex, we follow the module and baseboard concept. Uh, as of, like if you compare with other companies, they have a single board computer, which you really mean you have one single board with the IOs. And the nice thing with the module is, let's say you do a development, you can always switch back and forth module. One time you want to have a cheap application with a 200 megahertz, or the other time you want to have a dual core Cortex A9. So you still have the same base board, you just flip the module. So uh, you have some uh, some uh, some stories about people. Basically, you were you were doing a Marvel stuff, and you uh, they needed more, and you just exactly. Added it. I mean, with the Marvel, it's it's you know it has been around for a few years, and of course our customers want new, more performance. So we were looking out for the best processor on the market, which is obviously the Tegra 2, which we believe is a very a promising platform for the future, even like a few few weeks back, just take our three, uh, aka Call L, was announced. So we will follow that path and bring out another module in the future. So uh, when you talk about the full computer in here, 
basically the only thing that that's needed is a video out uh, for the screen or it's called and uh, USB okay and so if the there was a way to combine that in a smaller form factor for cheaper yeah who's gonna do that uh, I mean we leave it up to everybody I mean if you are an electrical engineer or anybody who can make a little simple PCB can do that I mean the design is all open we provide you the schematics for that board just scale it down what you want if you just want to have power supply uh, a video output and maybe a, a USB connector, that's it, that's all you need. So you put the connector on and, and bring those out for you. So there's 99 euro, how much would it be the minimum, minimum cost that you can imagine? Somebody could like uh, add something to this to have a full computer. I believe you can build a board uh, for under 50, 50 additional euros. So we're at like 150 euros for having a full system. Full computer. As cheapest, yeah, I mean. Yeah. That, how much RAM do you put in here? Uh, this particular module comes with 256 megabytes. It's a yeah. DDR2 uh, running at 333 megahertz. It has one gigabyte of flash on it. We will this summer also roll out a little bit a uh, higher end module with 512 megabytes and four gigabytes of flash. And more cost? A little bit more expensive? Uh, it will most probably be a little bit more expensive. We're talking by maybe 20 euros, so it's not going to be like double or something like that. So where are your solutions going? Are they going in boats and the, these and the there? I mean, you put it the... goes in pretty much anything you can imagine, where you have a display, where you have some user interface, or where you just simply need a little computer. I mean, the nice thing about the module is you have all the complex story on going on the module, yeah. and you just bring out the interfaces you want, build your software on top, and you have a, you have a device to sell. Are you powering uh, uh, the atomic plants as well? Not really, this is nope. just to get some attention on the booth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so more information, toradex.com. Yeah, everything is toradex.com, check it out, you have a web shop there, it's all online, uh, prices, you can order it right now. Go ahead, have a look at the data sheet, we have the exact numbers in terms of video capabilities, uh, display resolution supported, um, it's all there. Just www.toradex.com, that's it. Alright, thanks a lot.